Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use JSF forms and radio buttons. In this video, we'll cover the following topics. We'll first start off with a radio button demo, and then we'll look at some JSF terminology for select one radio, and then we'll walk through a full JSF page example. All right, so we have a lot of good things in store. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's a radio button demo right now, building on our previous examples that we've worked on before already. So we'll have a first name and a last name for a student. And then we have this new radio button section. So they can choose their favorite programming language and they can choose one of the radio buttons based on their given programming language. So here the user selected the language of PHP and then we go ahead, go ahead and hit the submit button. And then we'll see up here on the screen in the confirmation page that uh, their favorite programming language is PHP. So that's the idea of how the radio button works. Now in the JSF world, a radio button is represented by the tag select one radio. Now this tag actually makes sense. Um, it follows okay. So they have the word radio in the tag. So you know that it's some type of radio option. So you can do a select one radio. And what we'll do on the next slide is uh, we'll actually see some examples of how to write code for it. All right, so here's our select one radio. So I'm gonna just, just give a label here for favorite programming languages. And then I'll make use of the select one radio tag. So here's select one radio. And then I have value equals, and this is where I set up a link to my managed bean. So student three dot favorite language. We'll see that in the following slides. And then from there, we just drop out the different radio options here. So Java, C Sharp, PHP, Ruby. And again, item label is what the user will see and item values and actual code you can use. Uh, here I'm using them the same, but you can easily change that for your own personal application. Now let's go ahead and pull it all together with a JSF page example. So in the top left, we'll have our student form. So this will be student3form.xhtml. We'll have the first name, last name, and then we'll also have the radio buttons for the favorite programming language that the user can select. Then in the center, we're going to have this new managed bean called student three. Uh, student, this managed bean will actually hold the form data that's submitted. And then down in the bottom right, we'll have our confirmation page or our response page. So here we'll simply list out the actual programming language that the student selected. So in this example here, the student's favorite programming language is PHP. So let's go ahead and look at our to-do list for this. The first thing we need to do is add a managed bean for the class student three. And this managed bean is gonna have three fields, our first name, last name, and favorite language, which is new. Then we'll update the form to make use of the select one radio button. And then we'll update the confirmation page to display the favorite language for the student. All right, so we have a lot of good things in store. Uh, let's go ahead and start coding. All right, so let's go ahead and move into Eclipse. Again, we're gonna to continue to use our existing project, Hello, the Hello World project from a previous video. And what I'd like to do is the first thing out is to move into my Java resources directory for the source code. And I'm gonna look at this file called student3.java. Now, since we've already been working through this a lot uh, so far in the video series, I'm not gonna create the code from scratch. We'll just kind of walk through it. We've seen a lot of this stuff before. So I have this class student three, it's a managed bean. And this is what we're gonna use in our JSF pages. I'll define the three fields here, first name, last name, and favorite language. And favorite language is actually the new item that we're adding to hold the actual favorite language of the student from the radio buttons. And then we'll set up our no argument constructor. So remember the constructor has the same name as the class. And then we just have the normal getter setter methods here. So I have the get set for first name, uh, the get set for last name, and finally for this new part of the example, get set for favorite language. So that's pretty much it for our bean. So we have our managed bean, we have our constructor, and we have our getter setter methods for our fields. So this looks really good. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at our form. So I'll move into my web content directory and I'll look at student3form 
index.xhtml. And this form is very similar to our previous examples. So I'll scroll down past the first name and last name item. I'll focus in on line 23 here where we will actually um, have our favorite programming languages. So we're going to make use of the select one radio. And for the value, we'll bind it to our managed bean from the previous example here. So student three dot favorite language. So when we submit the data, it'll call student three dot set favorite language. Then we just go through and add in all the different options here for the radios. So we have Java, C Sharp, PHP, Ruby, so on and so forth. Now we'll move on down to our submit button. So it's for submit and the action is student three response. And again, remember, it's going to actually look for a page called student three response dot XHTML. JSF will automatically add the extension dot XHTML on there for you. Now let's take a look at our response page. So here I'll just kind of move down a bit. And line 16 and 17, the student's favorite programming language. And I make use of that manage bean. I'll say student three dot favorite language. So remember JSF will call the getter method here. So JSF will call student three dot get favorite language and it'll display the results here on the screen. Now here I just ran the application. Uh, here's our form up top. So we'll start with the first name and the last name. And then we'll choose a favorite programming language. So here you can choose different items. Uh, here we'll choose PHP. And then the user will hit uh, submit. And then we get the results here on the page. The student's favorite programming language is PHP. So this works out as desired. Good job. Okay, so let's go ahead and summarize this video. We started off with a radio button demo. Then we also looked at the select one radio tag. And then we wrapped it all up with a full JSF page example. Well, this wraps up the video. In this video, I showed you how to use JSF forms and radio buttons.